think about hackers, you probably think about computers, your phone, or your personal information. But Detroit police say you should add gasoline to the list. These two men are accused of stealing about 600 gallons of gasoline from a station on West Seven Mile. Now we're going to show you these pictures again in just a couple of minutes. Our Jermont Terry is live with the story of what police say the men did and how they did it. Jermont? Steve, you've heard of free gas giveaways, right? Well, drivers got a deal here, but police call it a steal because nobody paid a single dime here at the pumps. Seven Mile in Southfield is a busy corner, and the Marathon gas station is no exception. The talk from the folks filling up, the petrol heist. I don't know. I ain't never heard nothing like this before. Sure, you've heard about people stealing credit card information from the pumps. But this duo, according to Detroit police, somehow hijacked one pump with a device. And once they gained control, 600 gallons of gasoline flowed freely. Yeah, I'm just coming up and get it just to play my lottery. I'm trying, I'm trying to win $600. And then the guy home got away with 600 gallons. So now I know you're wondering just how much all of this is worth. Let's do the quick math. 600 gallons times $3 per gallon equals $1,800. $1,800 stolen all at once. How did they do it? And they ain't got it on camera? There are cameras, but the ones watching the pumps here were broken, and these are the only images of the suspected crooks walking inside. Free gas on everybody. DPD believe the thieves pumped for nearly 90 minutes. Is this the only station it happened to? DPD saying the clerk didn't realize the pump was out of his control the entire time. Where they put 600 gallons of gas and No barrels used. Instead, car after car, after car pulled up to pump. We don't know if the drivers pumped for free or paid a discounted rate to the pump hijackers. Somebody got paid, that's for sure. Either way, police want to question these men before another gas station falls prey to the petrol pair. Now, Detroit police saying tonight they believe more than 10 vehicles, less than 20, got gas during this 90-minute process. For a better look of the guys that police are looking for, just head to clickondetroit.com. For now, reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Boy, still a lot of questions about how they got away with that one. Uh, Jermont, is it clear what time of day this was? It looked in the photos like it might have been bright outside. It was bright. We're talking 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And, Steve, we've been at this gas station all night. It's very busy all day long, so it's kind of hard for people not noticing cars hanging out at one pump for 90 minutes. That's all part of this investigation. Well, and the guy behind the counter has got a few questions to answer as well, I would think. Thank you, Jermont.